Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. It's summertime in Houston, and that means a lot of sun. And dermatologists agree that a great way to protect yourself from the sun is to wear a hat. To wear a hat. To... But apparently my props person forgot to bring the hat. So I guess we'll change this video to be how to make a hat using origami. But let's go inside to do that. Geometry is the part of math that deals with shapes, the points and lines, and how they interact together in space. One of my favorite applications of geometry is origami. Uh. Origami is the Japanese traditional art of paper folding to create models of actual objects. It involves folding shapes, triangles, squares, rectangles, parallelograms, etc., in order to create the final product. So we're gonna apply origami techniques to make a hat, specifically a samurai hat. Let's get folding. Science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. We're gonna make a samurai hat. To make this, you're going to need paper. We're gonna start with origami paper just so you can better see the folds. Then we're gonna use newspaper to make it big enough for you to wear. First, we're starting with a square piece of paper. We're gonna turn it so that it's a diamond shape. Take the top point and fold it in half down to the bottom point to form a triangle. Now, take the left point and fold it down to the bottom point to form two triangles. Repeat with the right point, forming a new pair of triangles that make up a diamond shape. Take the bottom point of the left triangle and fold it up to the top point. So now we have three triangles, but still in a diamond shape. Repeat with the right triangle so that you end up with two small and one large triangle, but still in a diamond shape. Now, take the top point of the left triangle and fold it slightly over to the left so that the left side has three triangles. Repeat this on the right so that now you have six small triangles on the top and one large triangle on the bottom. Notice how the bottom triangle is actually made of two flaps. Grab the bottom point of the top flap and fold it up so it's about two-thirds up the top center of the triangles, forming two new triangles. Now, fold the bottom edge of the new triangle up so that the fold stretches from the far left to the far right, creating a new large triangle on the bottom. Finally, take the new large triangle on the bottom and tuck it inside the hat. Obviously, this hat is a little bit too small to wear. So we're gonna to need to make something a little bigger out of a bigger piece of paper, like a newspaper. Now, the wonderful thing about origami is that because it's based upon geometric principles, you can scale it up in size without having to change any of the folds. First, turn it to be a diamond. Fold it into a large triangle. Fold down the left and right corners. Then fold up the two bottom corners. Fold over the center points to the left and right. Fold up the bottom triangle. Fold it up again. Then tuck in the bottom flap to make your hat. So by applying principles of geometry to paper through origami, you can create all sorts of things. And there are lots of great online resources like origami-fun.com. So go get yourself some paper and get folding. This has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play.